My research involves uh, primarily the development of drugs and vaccines and diagnostics for uh, what have been considered diseases of the developing world. So uh, diseases like malaria, dengue, uh, leptospirosis, um, diseases that you usually get in uh, countries outside the United States. Right now we have four vaccine trials underway. Uh, two of the vaccine trials are um, for dengue vaccines and two of the vaccine trials are for rabies vaccines. The Center for Global Health and Translational Science um, has four arms to it. We have basic science researchers that are really trying to figure out about the disease and uh, what impacts the disease. Uh, we have folks that are taking that and translating that into products for humans, how to diagnose the disease in humans, how to prevent them with a vaccine, how to treat them with a drug. Uh, and then we have folks that are in country where these diseases are most endemic and taking what we can find on the bench through the human and applying it right to huge populations uh, that are, are living uh, in these uh, disease endemic areas. The most important thing is that uh, uh, this, is, this is an area um, that is probably um, the potential to have the greatest impact uh, on the greatest number of people. The diseases that we look at, um, the, the diseases we've been focused on primarily, uh, primarily um, impact uh, a quarter to one half of the world's population. Probably 40% of the world's population lives in an area of dengue. If you can affect um, a vaccine in any component of it, if you can advance the development of a vaccine, you can affect 40% of the world's population. Malaria, the same thing, 30 to 40% of the world's population lives in a malaria area. If you can find a better way to diagnose and treat malaria, you can change the lives of 30 or 40% of the world's population. I think that's the greatest thing about global health is the, just the enormous impact you can do. You may not see it in your one little component in the lab or your one little clinical trial or the one epi epidemiology study that you're doing in Ecuador or in Thailand or in Kenya. But when you put those whole thing, when you put that whole thing together, when you put all those components together, the impact on the world is enormous.